All right, guys, you know the drill by now. Thursday mornings are for the American Express credit card changes. <laughs> and so did Hilton just ruin the Hilton Honors business credit card, all the changes, getting rid of free night certificates, raising the annual fee, and much, much more. So let's jump right into it, and then we'll get the reaction from the greater community. So first and foremost, right here, you can see the annual fee was raised from just $95 to now $195, which is basically on par with that Hyatt business credit card as well. The welcome offer was also changed to 175,000 Hilton on his bonus points after $8,000 in spend. And we know the bonus before this was 135 K points after $4,000 worth of spend. So double the spend for 30,000 points or 40,000 points, really not too worth it in my opinion, but let's keep moving on. You're also going to be getting the same 12 X back on Hilton purchases made directly through Hilton. Okay. That doesn't change. Here's a new category here which is interesting and some people are finding valuable, which is 5X back, Hilton Honors points back, on eligible purchases, on other eligible purchases, which if you read the fine print, it's essentially anything that's not Hilton, you're getting 5X back on, and that's on the first 100,000 points in purchases per calendar year. So interesting there. Also, you're still gonna be retaining that Hilton Honors gold status, so that's fine. We also have some new credits here, okay? So following the Hilton Surpass card, the Hilton Business card now has a $240 Hilton Honors credit. That could be used, you know, quarterly, so $60 every single quarter at Hilton Honors credit cards. And I made a whole video about this just a second ago with the Surpass card. And basically, these credits are going to be used towards Hilton hotels, or you could even buy gift cards with them and use that towards checkout on your stay or on-site restaurants and things that you could build back to the room. So, so pretty valuable in and itself. So you just have to decide if you'd want to pay $195 for that. Interesting. And some people might be wondering, where's the free night certificate, right? Where is that if you spend $15,000 on the Hilton Honors business card, where where is that free night certificate or 60k another free night certificate where did that go and you also might be wondering like wasn't there another category like a 6x back on like gas stations restaurants a bunch of you know services and whatnot yeah <laughs> that's going away but you have to dig for it if you look in the terms and conditions there's actually some stuff here that's pretty interesting that they try to hide if you go down right about here you guys were wondering where is the free night award well eligible purchases made through june 30th so again that june 30th date you're still going to be able to put $15,000 in that time period and still get a free night certificate. Anytime after June 30th, you know, this year, so just a few months, then you're no longer, and this card will no longer offer the free night certificate just by spending money on the card. So pretty much a nerf there, I would say. So I guess two things, if you're a business owner or you have a lot of spend to put on this card and you have the Hilton on his business card, Make sure you do it before June 30th to get your free night certificate. Otherwise, I know a lot of people actually end up getting the Hilton Honors business card. Well, one, for the welcome offer, and two, I do know some people who hit the span, the 15K, to get a free night certificate. So is this card worth it anymore at $195 annual fee, even though you get that $240 Hilton credit? I'm not sure. So right here, for eligible purchases made from March 28th to June 30th, so you have until June 30th, you're still going to be getting back the six points total for those previous categories. So restaurants located in the U.S., flights directly with the airline and or with AmexTravel.com. Also, car rental companies, gas stations, U.S. shipping services, postal freight, whatnot, wireless telephone services purchased directly from the U.S. All these different things right here. You can look for yourself as well. But you're still going to be getting 6x back on all of those categories just until June 30th. Whether it's worth it or not, who knows? <laughs> it depends on you. But at least you know that's still there. But they try to hide that in the fine print as soon as they updated the card, right? And then for eligible purchases made on or after July 1st, you're going to be getting the 5x back up to 100k spent that's the that's the new multiplier right now which i think a lot of people will find interesting since it could be on anything it doesn't have to be on a specific category also if you dig a little bit deeper but we pretty much saw this coming with all the other hilton credit cards remember we used to have priority pass we used to have lounge access you know 10 passes and whatnot through the surpass that's all gone hilton honors business that is no different again However, if you have the Hilton Honors Business Card, it will no longer offer complimentary mem membership towards Priority Pass, but the deadline is June 30th, 2024. So if you haven't enrolled yet with your business card, you still can enroll until June 30th. So again, that same June 30th date. And if you do so, your membership will continue through March 31st, 2025 and will be canceled on April 1st, 2025. So you could still get pretty much another year from you know today uh, of Priority Pass select lounge access, which includes 10 complimentary lounge visits, 
uh, for, you know, for you and your family, which a lot of people value for sure. Now, of course, the news is just the news, but we want to see a little bit of the spice. So let's see what the community is actually talking about with this specific credit card. So I made a community post 34 minutes ago, and the Discord's talking about it. So let's see if there's any comments to what's actually happening and wh how this affects people going forward. Like this person right here, Lan Coon, he says, I mean, if you're going to use the credits, it's okay, but there is seriously no reason to use it beyond the, the welcome offer and the $240 credit. Just get an Aspire at that point. And yeah, I, I could definitely see that for a lot of people for sure. Hey, we got one more person from the YouTube community post. We got Dini here. What's going on, Dini? This card last year when it came with a free night certificate as part of the sign-up bonus, likely going to cancel the card, but we'll take advantage of the new Hilton credit for the next two quarters. And he just mentions for $95 last year, he got 150k points, two free night certificates, used that Roku, Kyoto, LXR, very, very nice, priority passes, and $120 in Hilton credits, you know, from this new credit over the next two quarters. So, whoo, looks like this card's gonna be a goner for Dini. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Amex is not making people happy. This news was actually broken last night around midnight in the Venture Capital Discord, so if you're not joined, join already. It's in the pinned comment in the description down below, but Oakland right here showed that the new card art last night at midnight, and there we go. Oh, Lordy, here we go. <laughs> Josh Gill, please be good. Please be good. <laughs> and Spade, I am pr prepared for this pace of change in the credit card niche. So right here, Kira says, this is right here. Do this more on Amex cards. Just get a 5X back flat on everything. John mentions that the Surpass is probably a better card. A lot of people are agreeing the Surpass is probably better. Considering you get the free night certificate, it's a lower annual fee. KidCat makes a good point here. $8,000 to spend for 175K Hilton Honors points is a little ridiculous, even if it is over six months. Considering, you know... <laughs> you can buy 320,000 Hilton Honest points for $1,600. Yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> That's, that's true. I mean, for the same 8K spend, you could quite literally just buy yourself to a million Hilton Honors points. And a lot of people, I think, don't consider that. That's a pretty good point. Keith S., he says, I look at the revamp as a nerf for spending, considering the quarterly credits are okay, but the new annual fee makes this card unattractive for me. Keith Cat again says, with the extra 0.5, you'd be better off with a Blue Business Plus getting that 2% back on 100K. The increased annual fee would make the break-even point almost negligible at the first 50 to 60K spend. Interesting. Keith S. also makes a point to just does not use any Hilton cards as a dining card. You're leaving too much on the table at 5x Hilton pesos. <laughs> use a gold card for 4x and then wait for the Amex 2.6 transfer to Hilton so you get 10.4x Hilton pesos. Yeah, that's a very good point, actually. Very, very good point. And damn, in real time here, random account here on the YouTube community post just said he just canceled because of these changes. Whoa, man, you didn't have to do that so quick. <laughs> Jesus! Oh man, but you can still get some benefits a little bit before the annual fee is raised on you. Oh lord. I don't know. What do you guys think? Are you guys going to cancel immediately like random account right there? Or are you going to hold out for it? Do you like these changes? Do you not like these changes? Let's start a conversation down below or in the Venture Capital Discord, which is pinned in the pinned comment, of course. So I hope to see you guys there. Let's keep the conversation going. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching and being here or, you know, 8 a.m. in the morning. <laughs> okay, my outro is I'm going to bed. Okay, <laughs> good night.